<laughs> Let's see if I can find some dog poop. <laughs> it's so cold outside. <laughs> All right, you can let me off right here. You keep riding. <laughs> Uh, we're having to ride it in the backyard because we live in town and uh, really don't want in trouble with the cops. Most of the cops are friends of mine I went to school with, so, you know, really don't want to get in trouble. And I don't have reverse on it yet, so. It was worth a try. I, I do plan on trying to get a reverse gearbox to put on it or coming up with a different configuration for it but you know as of right now you know just something cheap to do with the family to have fun is what it's all about especially in times like now my kids love going off-road they love go-karts four-wheelers and everything like that so you know, something like this is very important to me because my kids love doing this kind of stuff. Uh, now the belt that's on there is actually a Polaris belt, dry belt, that I had cut to make work on that 40 series torque converter. But we did order some 40 series torque converter belts for it. I'm just gonna run that one until it pops and then throw a good 40 series torque converter belt on it because it's all adjustable, so it really don't matter belt length on it. But as you can see, I mean, it rides around good. Uh, it did have 22 by 11 by eights on the back, and now we're running 26 by 12, by 11 by 12s on the back now. And it had 21, uh, 21 inch, 10 inch rim tires on the front and now it's got 26 inch tires on the front too as well with 12 inch wheels. So it's definitely a lot better now than what it was, but we're slowly upgrading everything and getting it to where we want it. So it's definitely gonna turn into be a pretty good build once I've said and done with it. I'm gonna put sides on it so the kids don't, you know, their leg fall out of the inside of the cart. So it's going to have some metal on the sides and it's still like some paint work and stuff like that. But it's nothing major. It's running and driving. That's all that counts. So, you know, if you get into carting, it's not really that expensive. If you have a little bit of knowledge on welding, you ain't got to be the greatest welder in the world. You can weld them up. You can fab up whatever you need to for these carts. It's not... It's not something major. You're not going to actually be driving. Well, I say you ain't going to be driving on the road. I've seen a lot of videos of people driving them on the road, 60 mile an hour carts. I'm designing a cart that's not meant for on-road use. It's meant for, you know, we got a big off-road park here in Arkansas called Carter's Off-Road Park. Everybody loves the place. They're real good people. And that's where this one's going to end up going to be rode and have fun with so but i hope everybody is staying safe and uh please like and subscribe thank you